In this presentation, we're going to look at the properties of functions and in particular whether or not they are one to one and onto. So let's look at the first example here. This is the floor function of x divided by 2. Let's evaluate that for, let's say, pi, 3.14. So with x equal to 3.14, the function evaluates as the floor of 1.57, that's 3.14 divided by 2, and that would evaluate as 1. Let's try a second example, just for the sake of completion. Let's evaluate minus 4.5, and that would evaluate as my, the floor of minus 2.25. Uh, just double check on your calculator, or, or just double check that that's actually equal to minus 3. You might, it might be intuitive to put in minus 2 there because you see the minus 2 at the start of uh, that number there, but it's actually minus 3. Just re recall how it would work for negative numbers, the floor function. So we have 1 and minus 3. They are two, they are two members of the range of values. Let's talk a second about the domain and the, and the codomain. This is domain up here, the R value. That means real numbers and the codomain, which is the Z there, that means the integers. Okay, so moving on. What is the range of this function? Well, I sort of described it there a sec uh, briefly that the range of values included minus three and one that we can actually safely say that the range of this function is the rate the all pulse po uh, all integers is the range of this function okay so the importantly what we're looking at is codomain is also the uh, range of integer values as well that is going to bring us to our next question. Is this function onto? Well, we've seen that the range is all possible integer values and the codomain so range and the codomain are the same. So, uh, yes, the answer is yes this function is onto because the range and codomain describe the same set of values. Is this function one to one? Well, previously we have seen the example of f of 3.14 evaluating to one. If we were to evaluate 3.5, we would have the floor of 1.75 and that would also equal to 1. So we have two different members of the domain, 3.14 and 3.5, but they both evaluate to the same member of the codomain, the range. So this function is not 1 to 1. There must be distinct values of the range corresponding to distinct values of the domain. So this function is not 1 to 1. Is this function invertible? Hang on, I'm just going to scroll down here a second. Is this function invertible? The answer is no. It is onto, but it is not one to one. It needs to be both. And that ends our presentation. The answer is no, because it is onto, but it is not one to one.